Sister Wives Coyote Pass Shocking 2024 Update. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. What is happening with Sister Wives Beloved Coyote Pass in 2024 now that it is just Cody and Robin Brown? In the clip for season 19, Janelle Brown is seen talking about the land. Yet, are she and Mary Brown completely done with it and want out? When the Brown family was planning their move to Flagstaff, Arizona, they had two properties to look at, Coyote Pass and Cottonwood. Though both were beautiful, there was something magical about Coyote Pass so they opted to buy it and were going to build four homes on it. However, Cody Brown decided he wanted his own spot which changed everything. The biggest issue was which lot each person would get. It was finally settled but they could not build until it was all paid off. Janelle Brown struggled with this because she wanted to be on the land. She eventually bought an RV so she could live there and start her life on Coyote Pass. More so, she had a drawing of the house she wanted made up to get the ball rolling. Still, it needed to be paid off. Christine Brown Woolley, Cody's third wife, left the family in 2021 and sold them her lot for $10. Mary and Janelle proceeded to leave so where does Coyote Pass stand in 2024? According to In Touch Weekly, there is still money to be paid and that is all in back taxes. Janelle and Cody Brown paid off what they owed which was $340,000. The part he owned with Robin was also paid to the tune of $170,000 so, as of June 2023, what was owed to Fidelity National Title Agency was paid in full. However, the back taxes affect all five parcels, with Robin and Cody owning three of them. As of November 2023, Janelle is tied to two and Mary is tied to one. Now, Robin and Cody are selling their $800,000 mansion for over $1 million. Pay the wives. As stated on Sister Wives, Mary Brown has no interest in building on Coyote Pass and is not even thinking about the land. Honestly, the property is the furthest thing from my mind. There's a lot of family stuff that needs to be worked out. Christine Brown Woolley was able to call it even by selling her lot and taking the profit from the sale of her home to start a new life in Utah. Lastly, Janelle Brown was really invested in Coyote Pass but now, she couldn't care less. She has been traveling and is living her best life. Therefore, she does not need the land but she does need money. She had noted she was hesitant to leave Cody and the family for fear of having nothing. So, if no one is doing anything with the land, Cody and Robin might as well sell it and give Mary and Janelle what they have been putting into the family for years. Sister Wives star Mary Brown is excited about fall and the upcoming spooky season. And what better way to celebrate the changing seasons than by taking fans inside. Her Haunted Inn. On the show, Mary discussed how many people had supernatural experiences in the Utah home. So of course, she has the perfect opportunity to transform it into a haunted attraction when fall sets in. Mary Brown transforms Lizzie's heritage in for spooky season. Recently, many Sister Wives fans were shocked to learn Mary Brown planned to shut down her inn. Thankfully, it seems that the closure is only temporary. On Instagram, Mary shared that the property desperately needed some renovations after more than 150 years. But that doesn't mean she's completely closing it down, however, Lizzie's haunted in is back for the spooky season. The TLC star shared on Instagram, Come take a guided tour, haunted style, as I share ghost stories and some of my favorite parts of the history of this 154-year-old home. Mary went on to add an update regarding the state of the inn. P.S. Many people have already been asking, I thought the house was closed for renovations. Yes, this is true, and also, I mentioned in my post about closing for renovations that I would still be having special events. This is one of those special events, and one of the rare occasions to come tour the home. Yay, she added. Mary's fans felt delighted to learn she was still offering Halloween events during the renovations. Comments on the post included. Scary Mary is back hands clapping. I love this. I wish I were closer. I would totally go. Ghost. Love this. Totally. Capturing the mood of Halloween jack-o'-lantern I bet there's some good energy at Lizzie's this time of year. That looks so fun. You're so lucky whoever gets to do it starstruck. 
The TLC star has lots to do, even with the ongoing renovations. Mary might have temporarily closed her in for renovations, but she has no shortage of other projects to keep her busy. As fans have seen on her Instagram page, she's fully diving into her Worthy Up program. In fact, she even received a special opportunity to speak at an event in Salt Lake City. On top of that, the new season of Sister Wives is just around the corner. As the premiere date inches closer, Mary is always eager to engage with her online followers and encourage them to tune in. Sister Wives star McKelty Brown Padron is livid over her brother, Garrison Brown's passing being put into season 19. He passed away in March 2024 and it is still very hard for the family to handle. That being said, what are Michael's exact thoughts? On the show using Garrison's death as a storyline, when Sister Wives airs, it tends to be about a year or so behind where the cast is currently. What viewers will see in season 19 is Christine Brown Woolley first dating David Woolley. Moreover, their romance will evolve into magic. They got engaged in April 2023 and tied the knot that October 2023 so this is going back well over a year. The new season will premiere on September 15th and will also show Mary Brown telling Robin Brown's children she is moving back to Utah while Janelle Brown learns who she is. Finally, Robin and Cody Brown struggle as they are on their own. Yet, one factor that should not be a part of this season is Garrison Brown taking his own life. That happened in March 2024 so well after the season would have been filmed. However, according to Monsters and Critics, a synopsis reads, Through the heartbreaking pain, the family navigates this incredible tragedy and comes together to mourn and celebrate his life. This came as quite a shock to McKelty Brown Padron as she had no idea that Garrison's death would play a part in season 19. She had good reason to think this based on the timeline of events. More so, it is still so fresh and fragile that his close friends have begged TLC not to even air Sister Wives. So, what did McKelty have to say upon learning this detail? She and her husband, Tony Padron went on YouTube and they were livid. That's interesting that they added Garrison in there because, I mean, that shouldn't be part of this season. This was filmed, like, two years ago. That timeline doesn't add up with all their stuff. Admittedly, McKelty has heard some whisperings as to how his passing will be handled and she is not happy. However, she wants it to be about Garrison and no one else. When it comes to mourning Garrison Brown, McKelty Brown Padron wants it to be all about her brother. She does not want any sister wives drama to interfere with his legacy. It's not about petty grievances, anybody else's relationship, it's just about him. So I hope they do him that courtesy and that honor. The family came together to honor Garrison after he passed but more continued to come out about him and how he was in need of help. Allegedly he had turned his firearms over to one of his brothers but it seems he did keep one. His younger brother, Gabriel Brown was the one who found him at his home. This will undoubtedly be crushing to watch so hopefully they will be extremely respectful to his legacy and all he did while alive. Is Sister Wives star Cody Brown only intimate with his wives when they are not pregnant? It appears that way based on some past episodes fans have been re-watching. So, what gives that impression and are there any clues to back up this theory? Cody Brown had three wives and twelve children with one on the way when he started courting Robin Brown. She already had three children. From a previous marriage but wanted more. He was caught smooching her when his third wife. Christine Brown Woolley was in labor with her sixth child, truly. Once he and Robin tied the knot, they went on to welcome two more children, Solomon and Ariella. This became his new family and he seemingly forgot about the 13 other kids he fathered. As his kids got older, Cody also cared less about spending time with them or putting effort into the relationships. This was a big issue. For Christine and second wife, Janelle Brown who did not think this was fair to the children. Another thing that was hard for the wives was a lack of intimacy. First wife, Mary Brown admitted they had not been together in over a decade. Then, he withdrew the intimacy from his marriage to Christine and that was the last straw. A Sister Wives fan did a rewatch of older episodes and noticed something that they shared on Reddit. Robin is pregnant with her and Cody's second and Christine is in a great mood this season. Seems like she has no jealousy. 
We are in the midst of Mary's catfishing. Janelle and Mari are working on their relationship. And Christine is mad at no one. I think he doesn't sleep with them when they are prego. They believe that Christine was so happy to have nine months of intimacy from Cody Brown which does track with what she had said. Maybe that was also why Mary did not want to try to have a baby any further because she hoped it would keep Cody interested. Apparently, this is part of their religion and not just a way for Cody Brown to avoid intimacy, per a follower. Not sleeping with pregnant wives is a fundamentalist AUB belief, so that tracks. It also explains why Robin was so critical of Cody during her pregnancy. I'm curious to look back at her pregnancy with Saul, also. Then, it turned into a debate about which wife Cody was still with until the end. Many were shocked at the idea Cody and Janelle were still intimate but one pointed out that she had been married before. The same goes for Robin therefore it was noted that they were experienced women which he probably liked. Are there some clues that Sister Wives is officially over for good? The hit TLC reality series has been on since 2010 and is entering its 19th season. Yet, some fans believe that the shelf life for the show is up and it will be over sooner rather than later. So, what are the hints that it will soon end? In 2010, the world was introduced to the Brown family which consisted of Cody Brown and his three wives. He was married to Mary Brown who was his first and only legal wife. She was followed by Janelle Brown and finally, there was a third wife, Christine Brown Woolley. They were in the process of courting a fourth wife, Robin Brown who was divorced with three children. By the second season, the family escaped their lifestyle in Utah for Las Vegas and the rest is history. Cody favored Robin and in 2021, Christine left the marriage. Janelle and Mary eventually followed leaving Robin and Cody alone in monogamy. By then, the family had left Vegas for Flagstaff. And things just fell apart. Everyone was so distant, not just emotionally but location-wise. The women also knew they wanted more from their marriage, especially Christine and she found that when she left and moved to Utah. Now, season 19 is set to premiere but fans have spotted clues the show is coming to an end. They started a Reddit thread to share what had brought them to this conclusion. The op pointed out this. McKelty and Tony moving when she loves being near Christine. For the spotlight, Mary closing the B&B. &B. She says it's for renovations but might be moving there full time to save money as the show income could be gone. Cody and Robin selling their home due to a lack of TLC money. Janelle leaving Flagstaff. Essentially, they noted how the sister wives family is setting themselves up for life after the show because it might be over. After seeing what the op had to say and their rationale, what did fellow Sister Wives fans have to say? Did they think this was a fair sign that the show was coming to an end? I would think TLC would be promoting it as the last season. I think they've still been filming, so it may be that next season will be the last. TBH, you stating that the moves are an indication that the show is ending is mildly insane when this show has been 19 season of them doing nothing but moving. Robin Brown's ex-husband is battling a very serious form of cancer. David Preston Jessup, commonly referred to as Preston, by his family, has an active GoFundMe where his family members keep the public updated on his condition. Although Robin Brown and her children maintain that Preston is a horrible person, not every Sister Wives viewer is completely convinced. In fact, many fans have donated to his fundraiser and eagerly await updates on his health. After Preston's cancer battle took a bleak turn earlier in the year, it seems like there is a happier update to share. One Redditor shared an update from the GoFundMe and expressed relief that Preston Jessup seemed to be in better health. I happened across David's GFM again yesterday. I was happy to see that he is currently somewhat stable and doing well. He just updated about a week ago, the op wrote. I know he was pretty sick when initially diagnosed, so it was good to see that his blood work numbers look good, and the chemo regimen he is on seems to be doing its job. Summer is always such a busy time that I just now realized. I haven't updated everyone on how Preston has been. The update on GoFundMe reads, He's had two doctor appointments since I last wrote and both have been great. Numbers are good and has been told to keep with the chemo pill he's on, which are hard on him but grateful that they've helped so much.
He's been told he would have to keep on them for at least three more YRS in hopes to keep things in deep remission. They cause Preston quite a bit of pain so prayers are very much still needed. Also wanted to thank everyone so much for all the help, prayers and kind words that you've expressed. Every bit has helped. Love you all and are so grateful to have you with us on this journey. On Reddit, many Sister Wives viewers expressed well wishes for Preston and his family. Robin Brown may have completely demonized them on television, but viewers aren't certain he's as bad as she made him seem. Comments included. This is awesome. Cancer is a beast. Hoping for more good news. In the future for them. This is really good news. This means he's living with cancer and has a good outlook. I'm glad he will be alive for when, if his kids are ready to try to have a relationship with him. Thankfully his numbers have improved and went to doctor's therapy. I remember reading a few updates ago he wasn't taking the chemo meds and things were not looking good on his numbers. I don't know him at all but I truly hope he gets better and gets through the tough parts. Easier. Isabel became upset by this. She thought her father should have put her first. It was heart-wrenching for Sister Wives fans to watch. Christine Brown revealed that her girls felt the pain of Cody playing favorites. Mary Brown's life showed wife three her future among the sister wives. Sharing Cody Brown was always the plan, but it got to the point where equal sharing fell by the wayside. The amount of time Christine spent with Cody became shorter. Plus, his visits grew further apart. But when he told Christine that he didn't want intimacy with her anymore, this crushed her. She realized what this meant for her if she remained in the plural marriage. As TLC Twitter reported, she called it, half a marriage. Visions of Mary Brown's life with Cody came to mind. Christine saw her own future in the sister wives after watching what Mary endured. She couldn't put up with a loveless marriage like that. So, Christine's heart bled for what her co-wife went through. With Cody, although Mary could leave, she didn't want to. So, there's no way Christine intends to find herself in the same spot. She won't live life as Mary has over the last several years. A future like Mary's sparked fear in Christine. Fans of the TLC show watched as Mary and Cody didn't seem to jibe very well for the last several seasons. But Mary Brown revealed their bedroom saw no action for more than a decade. Yet Cody made it sound as if he shut Mary Brown off after her. Catfishing incident. But his first wife dispelled that in part one of the sister wives, one on one. So, it could have been due to editing of the episodes that fans didn't catch on to this. Or Mary and her hubby hid their non-physical relationship from the cameras. Either way, Christine knows how long Mary Brown fought back against a loveless marriage. Either way, Christine doesn't want to be one of the sister wives if it meant no romance or intimacy. Mary might be okay with living in a marriage without love, but Christine said she's not. So, she used Mary Brown as an example of what her life would look like. Mary Brown dropped a Cody Brown bombshell on the first Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one episode. This changes the storyline that fans watched for over a decade of seasons from the TLC series. Did Cody Brown paint the wrong picture? For the last few years, Cody Brown carried on with Mary Brown as an estranged couple. Cody continues to say this is due to her catfishing incident. He even rehashed this event in part one of the one-on-one -on -one tell-all. He maintains that his first wife betrayed him. And he claims that's why he withholds intimacy from her. But when it was Mary Brown's turn to speak, she floored fans with her reveal. She confirmed that they're not intimate. That's true. But she also reveals it wasn't the catfishing incident that ended it. Mary claims it's been about a decade with no bedtime activities with her husband. That online affair took place in 2015. According to TLC Twitter, Cody said he doesn't feel safe being intimate with her. But the sister wife's first bride said their bedroom activities stopped a few years before that. It seems something else caused the bedroom blackout for the Browns. But no one revealed if there was another trigger or things just petered out. Mary Brown hesitates, then spills on Sister Wives, one-on-one. -on -one. So, what does this mean to fans? Looking back to when the reality series debuted, Cody had Mary on the schedule. That's the schedule that gathered so much attention in the past. Each wife got a visit from their shared husband every fourth night. 
That was until some of the ladies started to fall off that roster. From what it sounds like today, the schedule is gone, and he lives with Robin Brown only. The three-part Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one special filmed in 2021. So, do the math on Mary's timeline of 10 years without intimacy. That means, she and Cody weren't intimate since roughly 2011. That's around the time the series started. The Brown premiered on TLC with their polygamy show in 2010. And fans saw Cody Brown make the rounds. He went from the bedroom of one wife to another during the first several years. But was that just for reality TV purposes? This could be why Mary hesitated when host Sukanya Krishnan asked her about their dry spell. Mary Brown said she didn't know how far she should get into it. But she, finally said it's been a decade since she and Cody Brown did the deed. Mary and Cody looked good on screen. Years ago on their show, Mary Brown and her husband talked about trying for another baby to no avail. Then, Robin Brown stepped up and offered to be a surrogate mother for her co-wife. But they declined the offer. Sister wives' cameras didn't follow Cody and his wives all the way into their bedrooms at night. But fans assumed that Mary's attempt to get pregnant meant they were engaged in conjugal activities. That is how you make a baby. After all, even when the five brown adults went out on tour together, they reportedly kept to their Cody sharing schedule. A clip showed him moving his baggage from one wife's hotel room to another. On the TLC series, it appeared that he stayed with all four wives on their designated nights when away together. So, this begs the question. Mary Brown revealed a decade of no action with Cody. So, was him rotating into her bedroom just for the cameras? Since this reveal came out of part one of the three-part one-on-one season ender, Cody may need to answer this. So, let's hope Sukanya presses Cody to explain Mary's claim of a decade of no nookie. Part one of the Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one tell-all aired Sunday January 30th but with lots of old footage and rehash of prior events. While there are a few surprises and tears, much was shown in sound bites and promos. So, will part two of the tell-all be? Better, this new format had each of Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, Robin Brown, Mary Brown, and their shared husband on screen alone. They faced new host Sukanya Krishnan and tons of outdated scenes. But, this also gives them a little more freedom to talk. Yet, there's the downside of not seeing the other spouse's facial reactions. The format seemed to work well for Mary. Without her co-spouses in the room, she revealed something stunning. Why Cody Brown Explodes and Robin Brown Sobs Editing plays a big part in previews for the episodes. You can't know for sure what to expect from a promo clip. Because they often show events out of context or spliced together in the teaser videos. So, for the real scoop, you need to wait until the full show airs. The latest promos for Sister Wives One-on-one -on -one have Cody Brown taking offense and demanding that Sukanya take a word back she used. He didn't like hearing that he abandoned Mary Brown on an emotional level. He wanted that word, abandoned, taken back. And Robin Brown cries over the demise of Christine Brown and Cody's marriage. She believes this could have worked out a bit differently if only Christine tried. So, the tears flow as she thinks about what might have been if only Christine complied. Mary Brown takes hard questions on sister wives, one on one. Part 1 of the Sister Wives Tell All saw old scenes consumer a fourth of the episode. Sukanya rolls a clip, but then she asks whichever spouse she's sitting with to add details. But it seems there are more clips than usual, and not even from season 16. One clip shows Mary Brown and Cody deep in conversation. She tells him when he touches her hand, it gets to her. In other words, she's saying she still wants him. Despite saying that she's waiting for him, he tells her he's not coming. But she won't give up. Mary Brown tells him she's put 30 years into this family and she's not going anywhere. But, as far as he's concerned, they're done. And in case you forgot the two seasons worth of drama around Mary's catfish scandal, one on one goes there again. There are tons of scenes culled from seasons 9 and 10 about it. Yet there's little shown from the most recent season, why? Christine Brown barely seen. Janelle weighs in, but it's really Mary's episode. When you look back after watching Sister Wives, one-on-one -on -one part one, 
You see it's about one wife. And it's not the wife everyone's talking about. With season 16 ending with Christine Brown packing Cody out of her house, everyone wants to know what's up. But instead, they focus on Mary Brown for most of the episode. Christine has some scenes where she talks about that infamous family meeting from season 15. That was when she said everyone hates her. Yet with much of season 16 scenes offering much better tidbits about Christine, why go back one season prior? The most interesting parts of one-on-one -on -one part one air. Cody raging about Mary's catfish affair. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.